Hi, I'm Josh Bloom. Welcome to another video in the RSP Supply Education Series. If you find that these videos are helpful to you, it certainly helps us out if you could give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. In today's video, we are going to be talking about an electrical standard that relates to control panels. And it is one of the most commonly used throughout the world. I am talking about UL, or Underwriters Laboratories. For the purpose of this video, we want to talk about the UL698A standard and learn more about how it relates to control panels and in what situations you might need to use this standard. We will talk about some of the basic requirements that this standard dictates and also what to look for when trying to select a panel fabricator that can meet these requirements. We hope that by the end of this video, your understanding of this topic has grown and we have been able to answer some of your most commonly asked questions in regards to UL698A. As always, the information shared in this video is intended to provide only a basic overview of this topic and should never take the place of proper electrical instruction. With that being said, let's take a closer look at the UL698A standard and learn more about what it is and why it is sometimes used. When thinking about UL and control panels, you might first think about a UL508 standard. The UL508 panel shop listings are the most common of the basic UL listings that you can have for a panel shop. This listing allows for control panels fabricated within a designated shop area to provide control panels that are built to the UL508A standard. This is an electrical standard that requires the control panel to meet certain guidelines and criteria that will increase the overall safety and functionality of the panel. Those panels will be marked with a UL508A panel sticker inside of the panel. This indicates to the end user that the panel was built to a certain standard. So what does the UL698A listing have to do with the UL508A listing? Let's first get an idea of what the UL698A standard covers. This standard provides guidelines for panels that are located in hazardous locations that also use intrinsically safe circuit extensions. If you have not already seen our other video in which we discuss intrinsic safe barriers and how they work, we will link that video in the description below. With that said, if you want to put a panel in a hazardous area and plan on using intrinsic safe hardware and want that panel to be UL listed, you will need to have the UL98A mark on that panel. In order to get the UL98A certification, the panel shop that is selected must first be a UL508A listed panel shop. The 698A listing is something a 508A panel shop can add once it has met the 508A standards. So what does the UL698A standard require in order to meet its guidelines? There are a few main points that must be considered, and some of those are as follows. First is that any intrinsic safe circuits that are used comply with UL guidelines, or that they are UL listed barriers. They must comply with UL marking instructions, which will refer back to the UL508A guidelines. The barrier supply voltage must meet certain standards or guidelines that will be dictated by the hardware that is being used. Any field wiring to and from the intrinsic safe panel must have its own dedicated conduit. The routing of the intrinsic safe barrier wiring must be routed in a very specific manner, typically away from other electrical circuits. A separation from intrinsically safe circuits and other electrical circuits must occur. This separation can be achieved by either placing an actual physical barrier between the intrinsically safe circuits and other circuits, or by simply ensuring that, are, that there is enough space between the two different kinds of circuits. The space that is required is detailed in the UL698A standard. There are several other guidelines that need to be followed as well in order to ensure that the panel will meet the UL698A standard. By having a good understanding of what is required in this standard and what considerations you might have to make when planning a panel that may exist in a hazardous area can help better prepare you for any design challenges or questions that might arise. Having a fabrication partner that has the capabilities needed to fabricate this kind of panel can help this process move much more smoothly 
and with very little he headaches along the way. For a full line of industrial control equipment as well as thousands of other products, please go to our website. For more information or other educational videos, go to rspsupply.com, the internet's top source for industrial hardware. Also don't forget, like and subscribe.